When a woman dumped this dog in the trash, she didn't know what the garbage man would do. When one woman heartlessly dumped her dog in a trash can, she thought that would be the last anyone saw of it. But when a garbage man found a hairy body while making his rounds, he knew he had to act, and what he did next would come back to haunt the animal's owner. Nathan Binney works as a garbage collector in the borough of New Stanton, Pennsylvania. Over his time on the job, he'd no doubt come across some unusual items discarded in people's trash. However, something he found in October of 2014 simply beggared belief. Binney was working outside a property on Yellow Pine Lane when he made the harrowing discovery. Although the garbage collector doesn't make a habit of looking inside the cans he empties, sometimes he can't help himself, and on this occasion, something compelled him to take a look. However, nothing could have prepared Benny for what he would find. Inside the trash, he uncovered a terrified young dog. She was sheltering in a garbage sack with just her tiny head sticking out. Understandably, the discovery shocked the garbage collector. It sort of scared me, actually, Benny admitted in an interview with TribLive.com shortly after. I feel bad when I see nice toys in the trash, but a puppy like that, it's just horrible. But although the find had startled him, he was determined to help the puppy. So he pulled her out of the can and lifted her to safety. It was only then that Benny realized the true extent of the animal's suffering. Upon first glance, he could see that the dog was emaciated. You could see every bone. She was shivering and shaking. It was just horrific, Benny said. The garbage collector wanted to help the animal in any way he could, so he carried her over to his truck and fed her lunch. After that, he transferred the dog's care over to the Humane Society of Westmoreland County. The Animal Welfare Organization arranges the rescue, shelter, and adoption of pets in need. As a result, the society's staff members often meet creatures at their lowest ebb. However, the state of this dumped doggy shocked even them. The dog is really emaciated. It's hard to say you've ever seen anything much skinnier, Jan Dillon, an agent with the Humane Society of Westmoreland County, revealed to WTAE in October of 2014. She's so dehydrated and malnourished. The dog was, in fact, so thin that vets couldn't take any blood from her to investigate. We checked the kidney and liver functions, but she's eating small amounts of food. That's all we can do to build her up. Just give her small amounts of food every three hours or so, Dylan explained. Agents at the Humane Society decided to call the young German Shepherd mix Fauna. They believed her to be about 10 months old. However, she weighed much less than a dog her age should, tipping the scales at just 17 pounds. Given the state it had found Fauna in, the Humane Society wanted to find the person responsible for her ordeal. So a vet scanned her skeletal body in the hope of finding a microchip and no doubt to their surprise, they did indeed find one. Through the information they found on the chip, Humane Society staff learned a woman called Nicole Baker was Fauna's owner. She had adopted the dog a few months prior from a Fayette County shelter. However, she had moved to another state three days before Binny found the animal. Baker later admitted to heartlessly dumping the little dog before moving to Texas with her boyfriend. As a result, authorities decided to charge her with animal cruelty. Her case would be heard in court in January of 2015. In the meantime, the Humane Society of Westmoreland County were quick to condemn Baker's careless actions. It's ridiculous, Dylan told WPXI. I hate to say it, but it would have been better if they let the dog loose. At least it could have tried to get something to eat. And it wasn't just those in the animal welfare business that Baker's actions had shocked. Even her daughter, Brittany Prinky, who lived next door, had no idea of the cruelty her mom was capable of. She said the last time she'd seen the dog, in July of 2014, she'd been completely healthy. I was so upset, I felt like I was going to throw up. I was so sick to my stomach about everything. I couldn't believe it. That garbage can is right over there. I didn't hear anything. No one heard anything. No one knew. It was disgusting. Prinky told WTAE in 2015. In the end, Baker took a plea deal at her court case in 2015. She pleaded guilty to the general charge of disorderly conduct and said she would attend an accelerated rehabilitative disposition program for first-time animal cruelty offenders. Furthermore, magistrates ordered Baker to do community service and cough up $620 in restitution. 
Additionally, they required her to undergo a mental health evaluation. According to Dylan, Baker would also be unable to adopt a dog in the state of Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, Fauna made an incredible recovery. She put on a lot of weight to become a healthy size. Moreover, a veterinary technician who worked at the Humane Society eventually adopted her. Now she had love in her life, and the dog would never be treated like garbage again.